soon. This is Pain Forever, and I'm going to tell you guys a story about my first time doing a dead person's makeup. Okay, so um, it started where I mean, I guess I call myself like a freelance makeup artist, although I do a lot of different things. I ended up um, riding with my aunt to do this lady's makeup but I really was scared but I thought it was interesting because I've never done it before so I felt like why not it's the first time for everything so I got all cute and stuff like that I don't know what I got cute for because it ain't like she was gonna see me but I was cute and I went to the um funeral home and when we got in there I got scared I mean I was looking around and it was just like bodies everywhere I mean it was one over here one over there it was so many bodies in there and I mean it was surreal I was like oh my god I don't know if I'm gonna make it and then I start thinking about you gonna make some money so just do it so anywho um I knew I've met the lady once um who makeup I was doing and um, she was an older lady. She was like, I think she probably was like 89, I mean 98 or something like that. She was very, very old, but she was a nice looking lady or whatever. She really didn't look that old. So, um, they were like, go ahead and start doing set up and do what you're going to do or whatever. So I probably was standing there about maybe five minutes or so and I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I didn't want to say anything because I mean we were there now. So um, my aunt was like, "Okay, are you gonna do it or what? Just start doing her eyebrows first. So I said, "Let me go ahead and arch her eyebrows. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be two seconds. That's it." So you know when you arching your eyebrows, this is your balance. Your pinky is your balance anyway. So to make it perfect and I go pretty fast, it. Uh, I use my pinky so when I swoop around her face my pinky touch the side of her face I said oh my god do y'all know this lady is cold she cold and I never I mean I when my grandma died I was in the casket with her and I never knew that her body was cold I guess when you love somebody and stuff like that you so focused on your emotions that you're not really paying attention to all those things but I never knew that the body was cold I might be crazy for not knowing that but I never knew that so anywho um, as I was doing her face after I did the eyebrow thing I was just on pause I ain't want to do nothing else so she was like you're not gonna do um you're not gonna do the rest of her face are you scared or what I was like no I ain't scared I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I got this I got this so then she said well what are you gonna do I said I don't know what do you want me to do she said just do it Girl, when I did that lady face, by the time they came back to see that lady, that 90 some year old lady was looking 22 and club ready. I did her lady a smoky eye. It was gold and black. It was smoked out. It was so pretty. And she, I mean, I guess it was pretty because she kept still. I mean, of course she kept still. But, <laughs> I mean, anywho, it was really cute. You know, I, I thought I did a awesome job but I didn't know your job was to make the person look the way they look when they were alive I thought you just get them together you know I just like to get ready so anywho um after I did their makeup that lady's makeup that lady came and she said if you don't take that shit off that lady face I know something it was so funny but the thing was I thought I did awesome and they said that she looked like she was a teenager or mid-twenties and they needed to know who they were coming to see when they got ready to go to the funeral. If they would have showed that lady like that, I'm almost certain they weren't going to be able to uh, recognize who she was because she was looking, you know, hot, you know. But anyway, um, so before we were getting ready to pack up and leave, the man say, oh my God, you did such a great job. I say, well, thank you. You know, I kind of pat myself on the back and stuff then he said do you want to do mother I said mother who is that you know I thought it was his mom 
Did he not point in the corner to another lady with her leg propped up and she's dead and the cover is on top of her and her leg is cocked up in the air? I don't know if she was stuck, like she died in the bed with somebody or what, but her leg was cocked up in the air and I guess they needed to break the leg that, you know, before they get ready to let me do the makeup. Honey, I had to decline that because I thought she was going to get up and walk. But that is my story. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.